All right, hey guys, I will be doing a review on a high quality 532NM green laser versus a low quality um, 405NM violet laser. So, first off, the green laser is, of course, better. And as you can see, there's no, there's no batteries wiggling around in this because it's high quality. This one, you can hear batteries because uh, the batteries are going around because it's not that high quality. But there's proof that purple and green. The green looks kind of weird because it's on a dark shirt. But here's what it really looks like. And purple. Alright, first off, a beam house. Purple. Green. And just a reminder that it's in the daylight, so you probably can't see it. Purple. Green. Okay, this one cannot pop balloons. This is a fun laser that you can see the beam really well. This can pop balloons because it's ultraviolet and the spread gets really far when you shine it far away. So when you get really up close, it's a direct, it's direct light. So it's basically there's a lot of heat, especially I can feel the heat when I shine it right here. I can feel it a lot. So these are my two lasers. This one is um $53 at Radio Shack. It's very good. This is a this is a max 500 W. It's not one of those sucky of less than five two dollar eBay lasers. And this is a cheap eight dollar fifty cents violet four hundred and five NM laser. So, okay, I can easily see this beam. It is very good. You might be able to see that beam, but not this one. You might be able to see that one. Both of them. And remember, this this one's a true five. Um, this one's a less than five. I'm guessing. So I recommend getting a green because it is much brighter, and it's, I guess, the beams better. This one, if you want to pop balloons, I guess you can get this one. But that is all I have to talk to you about right now. A 405 nm versus 532 nm laser pass. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video.